Okay, so today I'm going to try and recreate the Smiler at Alden Towers from memory. It has been a long time since I've seen anything on this roller coaster. Uh, I've never ridden it. I've never been in the park. And I definitely do not have the layout memorized. I think I know the very basic stuff. Like, I know it has 14 inversions. I think it has, like, 3,800 feet of track. But yeah, this ride is a big mystery to me because it's just a huge ride in such a small space with a really unique layout. But I will do my best. Does it have over the shoulder restraints? I think it does. I might use the B&M floorless trains because I just do not like the Gerslauer Infinity trains that are like stock in this game. Why can I not change the trains on this? I need to... There we go. <laughs> That's interesting. And I'm floorless. Here we go. Pretty sure it's four cars. I think that the track is black. Is everything black? Actually, no, I don't think the trains are black. Also, I'm not going to do, like, any of the theming or anything. This is just the layout that I'm going to try and recreate. So, yeah, I think that it's pretty much, like, dark gray everything. Or black. And then the trains are like yellow, I think. Is that it? I think that's kind of what it looks like. So now... Man, this is going to be weird. The first big question I have is if it has a pre-lift inversion. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think it drops into like a indoor section of the ride where it goes into like a heart line roll before the first lift so let me see if i can do that i think it like drops down to the left into the inversion if this even has one in the pre-lift i think it does i'm pretty confident it has an uh, inversion in the pre-lift Oh man, I feel like that takes up a little bit too much space. And then also, like most of the ride is kind of like in the ground, I think. I could be completely wrong about all this, but that's the beauty of this challenge. Does this have a pre-lift inversion? Oh, I don't think so now that I think about it. Uh, no, it has to. It has to. It has to have a pre-lift inversion. Probably like some drive tires. Maybe a brake. And the first lift hill is the not vertical lift one, I think. Probably goes up like what? 50 degrees? Or 45? And I also don't think it's above 100 feet. So then it dives off of the chain lift. I'm pretty sure it goes into like a right hand turn and then into uh, like a barrel roll down drop thing. This is going to be so bad. That kind of looks like the Smiler, possibly. So I think I, there's this inversion, and then dive loop, I think another dive loop, and then a corkscrew, and then like a bat wing? Or an airtime moment? I don't know. This is going to be really bad. Is that right? Okay, I'm just going to redo this one last time. Maybe it's just a 45 degree lift. Like that. I don't think it's supposed to be that close to the station. Okay, let's give this a little test run. Oh, it's kind of slow. I think that's good.
Oh my goodness, I have no idea what comes after this, if this is even right. I really should know more about the Smiler, huh? Now I'm trying to think. I believe there's an airtime hill here. There might be a trim on this hill, though. I kind of forgot. I think that's what it is? Or is it a corkscrew into the airtime hill? This does not look like something on the Smiler. So I think that this is where the airtime hill is. I have like never made a batwing, like a custom one. Is this actually the first batwing I've made custom? But oh my gosh, how do you make these? This is kind of what I need to make. And then doesn't it also kind of like curve to the left? near the bottom of it. Okay. Even though this is like the worst looking bat wing I could possibly make, uh, it works pretty good, I think. There's also like a sand serpent roll thing, right? Sea serpent roll? I forgot what it's called. Okay, so I think that it drops into like a sea serpent roll, cobra roll, and then a double heartline roll at the end, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to think if it's taller than this. Then the corkscrew. Doesn't it like have a holding break here? Well, that works. Oh, then does the sea serpent roll? Like, where does the sea serpent roll go? What is a sea serpent roll? <laughs> sea serpent roll. Oh, it's one of those. So does it go from like... Hmm, I feel like the end of the sea serpent roll should go through here. And then, like another airtime moment into the cobra roll. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I want something kind of similar to this. That part's a bit too fast. Let me see. Three point six four. Yeah, no. It's definitely too fast. I don't even feel like this is right. I'm gonna redo this. Okay, let's 
Let's see if this sea serpent roll works. I should probably smooth it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think that works. Now I need to make the cobra roll, which I have no idea how it works. Does it like go through one, comes back around, and then goes through the other one? I don't know how this works, but I'm pretty sure they're like intertwined. How does the man this is so this ride is just so weirdly designed I Do not think that this is going to turn out well, but I will try my best. I Mean this side of the Cobra roll is bigger than the other side How do they do this in real life? This is so weird Yeah, this looks horrible But it might be the best I can do Because man, this is the weirdest ride I have tried to make in a while. Please don't tell me there's clearance issues here. I mean, there most likely is, because that is ridiculously tight. But if there isn't, I'm going to be really, really happy. I don't actually think there was clearance issues, but it goes so slow through that. This is honestly, like, so bad. Like, this entire ride is probably the worst coaster I've made in a long time. So then, I believe it kind of, like, curves up to the left here. And then into a double heartline roll. Okay, so the whole layout is completed. I'm sure that this is nothing like the actual Smiler. But hopefully it shares some resemblance. Let me make sure that this is 14 inversions. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12, 13, 14. Yep, 14 inversions. Let's see how it is unsmoothed. Version number two. A couple of dive loops. Air time hill. Corkscrew. Then that's the first half. Kind of like a mirror image drop of the first one. Very goofy cobra roll. speed to make it to the... Uh, it has barely enough speed. So here is the Smiler, I guess. Even though this does not look anything like the Smiler. So there is probably a lot that I missed. But first, before I uh, look at a POV of the real one and compare it, I am going to fully smooth this and add some supports to it. Not going to be anything crazy, but uh, just want it to look a bit better than how it does. So I will show you once I'm done. So now I am fully smoothing it, which it still probably won't be the most smooth ride, but it will definitely be better than what it was before. But yeah, I don't know how accurate this is. I think I got the elements right, but I think the placement of them is like all off. We will see though. So I'm going to show a POV of this ride in just a minute. Uh, and then I'm going to do a reaction to the actual POV of uh, the Smiler so I can compare them. And something tells me that I got this one really wrong. Okay, so now the smoothing is done, and I will just do the supports now, then the POV. 
And I'm not doing any custom supports for this. I don't want to spend eight hours on it. Oh, also, side note, I'm pretty sure this break run is like four times too long, but I couldn't really line up a double heart line roll thing with the with a break run that was this short. So this is what we're left with. Now I just gotta make it look like concrete because I'm pretty sure that's what is all around. Uh, actually, is it should it be tarmac? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just all gray around um, the Smiler. POV time. We got 4 G's almost on the dot, 1.2 laterals, pretty crazy airtime, 14 versions, 2 airtime moments. Uh, so I think this is pretty good. Like the main thing I want is just for the elements to be in the right order. So hopefully I got it pretty close. So let's see a POV of the real thing. And then we can compare. Okay, so this is the official Alton Towers POV for the Smiler. Uh, if I remember correctly, it just uses the theme song as audio, so I might just mute the video if that's the case. Yeah, it's just, it's just using the theme song, so I'll just turn it down a lot. So, I was right. It does do a left turn into the darkness. Oh, I think it went... Oh, wow, that's weird. Uh... But yeah, it did go upside down there. That's kind of like what I did. You know, I'm gonna count that as I did it correctly. Also, this theme song is awesome. Oh, oh! Oh, no, why didn't I think of that? Wait. So I got this right, it drops off to the right. But this, that turn right next to it is the other lift hill. Okay, okay, I'll go back. This is the second drop off of the uh, vertical lift hill. So I got, I did get it wrong. It is going to the left and it wraps around this one. I did not know that. Yes, I got the drop kind of right. I did not have that weird kind of like banking to the right here dive loop which goes diving to the left mine dove to the right another dive loop hopefully it's an airtime hill 
Yes! And then the bat wing, which is completely different shaped than I thought it was. And then, yeah, the corkscrew to the left. Oh, so the corkscrew was to the left. I had the corkscrew going to the right, and then the drop to the left. So I almost got it right. So then this. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it is this sea serpent roll. It's completely different shaped than mine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The shaping is so much different than mine. But okay. Airtime hill? Yes! Yes! And then the cobra roll. Okay, so I see where I messed up. Oh, then the... Did I get it? I got it, kind of. Okay. I get it. Okay, let's go back to Planet Coaster. Okay, so I got the sequencing of elements correct. Like... Drop out of the station, heartline roll, drop, barrel roll, two dive loops, airtime hill, bat wing, corkscrew, barrel roll down drop, sea serpent roll, cobra roll, and then double heartline roll or whatever. But I did, I got a couple of very key things wrong. First thing I got wrong was uh, this was supposed to kind of like curve down over this side and then turn to the right and then. This dive loop was supposed to bank left, not right how I did it. Then I got this right, got this right, and then this, I did get this wrong, but I was wondering how, and now I know. So basically, this needed to be like, down there. <laughs> I don't know how I would have done that, but yeah, it's kind of the very basic of how it was supposed to look. So this corkscrew was supposed to go to the left and then kind of level out around here and then the vertical lift would have been like probably about here it would have gone up the lift and then the drop wraps around this drop and then you dive back down so yeah there's there's a couple of things the sea serpent roll would have been over here i don't actually know would it have gone like here ish and then you sea serpent roll over that I don't know how it was supposed to work exactly, but I got the element sequencing right, just the placement wrong, and then of course the profiling is completely different. But I don't think I did too bad. I definitely could have done better, but for not having seen this ride for months, I am pretty happy with it. So it's going to be a while until my next upload because I'm working on this huge project. I'm not going to spoil too much. I'm going to be giving little, like, teasers of it on my YouTube community page. But yeah, so it's probably going to be, like, at minimum two weeks before my next upload. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.